No, really, you guys, you're cheering for somebody that can't even read, all right? I, I don't even know why you guys are here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can read, right? I just read slow. Like, let me give you an example. If there's a movie with subtitles, I'm fucked. <laughs> don't get me, I'll try to read it. Like, I try, don't, I, I, shit! That's why I hate text messages. If you're gonna text message me and I have to scroll, you're an asshole. <laughs> no, the worst is when I'm reading a text message and then I get another text message from the same a-hole saying, hey man, you type slow. I'm like, bitch, I'm not even done reading. <laughs> Thank God for DVR, right? Took me nine hours the other day to watch Dances with Wolves, finally. <laughs> but I have a good memory, don't worry, so now I speak Sue. <laughs> no, I wish I, <laughs> I wish I could read, man. I used to panic, are you kidding me? We used to have to read out loud, remember that? Everybody would have to read a paragraph, I would shit my pants. <laughs> I would try to figure out what paragraph was mine and memorize it. <laughs> sometimes a teacher would be like, hey, Steve, you read two paragraphs. I'm like, you bitch! <laughs> I can't spell either, man. Thank God for spell check. Sometimes even spell checks, like, what the fuck? I hate when Google talks shit, when you put something in there and Google goes, do you mean? You know what I mean? You're a computer, I'm a person, give me what I want! You know how I spell? I'll tell you how I spell, should. S-H-U-D, should. My teacher would come over all snooty. Well, did you sound it out? Yeah, I did, bitch. I didn't hear should, I heard should. You laugh, but I ended up in a special class because of that shit. And now, that's how people text. Who's the dumb one now? <laughs> I, I figured it out when I was eight. Speaking of being eight, man, I miss those days. You know why? Because my parents were great parents. Parents nowadays, these crazy parents, I don't like them. My parents were horrible, and I loved it. <laughs> parents nowadays, if a kid gets tired at a party, the parents leave. We gotta go, he's tired. <laughs> my parents didn't give a shit. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm tired. Okay, mijo, sleep right there, look. <laughs> <laughs> You open your eyes at four in the morning, they're still in the kitchen and chinga. <laughs> they didn't care. Our, <laughs> our parents didn't give a shit. Parents now, they get babysitters. My parents just took us to the party. We just played in the backyard for hours until you ran by the ice chest and they would stop you. Hey, bring me two of those. I'm gonna... Be like a little mini bartender. Hold on, my dad wants a beer. <laughs> my parents didn't give a shit, man. Parents now, they care. They don't let their kids outside for more than an hour, not in this heat. They bring them in right away. Come on in, it's too hot. How long have you been out there? 15 minutes, get in here. Me and my sisters would be at home and my dad would be gone, because he was the enforcer, and when mom was there by herself, she's pretty much fucked. And we, <laughs> and we would just start in on her, like on a Sunday, ma, 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 uh, no, what, what? Can we go to the pool? Nobody's going to the pool. Ma, 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 what? Can we go to the pool? <laughs> Nobody's going to the pool the last time. Ma. Ma. And then she would just lose it like I've never seen any human being lose it ever in my life. She, ma. Ma. You know what? I don't give a shit. You can go out of the pool. Go to the damn pool. I hope they kidnap you. And you're a kid. You don't know what to do. You're like, she said go to the pool. Ma. Ma, what? We don't have any money. <laughs> and she would just cry and like, compl I don't know what I do every day. I try so hard to do for these kids. They don't give a shit about what I do and I pray to God. You're just sitting there uncomfortable. <laughs> My sister would be like, are we going to the pool? I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking like it. But... 
Ma. <laughs> My poor mother would just give in. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah, you get to the pool, she's a different woman. Oh, hi! <laughs> yeah, the kids wanted to go to the pool. <laughs> she was about to kill herself two minutes ago. My dad didn't care. He used to drop me off at the pool before the pool was open. <laughs> Be out there burning my feet, waiting in line. Shit. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I bring my shoes tomorrow? They're gonna steal them. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they let us ride our bikes, I'll tell you that. That's all we did. Now kids need a play date. Are you out of your mind? I don't think I could grow up that way. Hey, Mom, I want to play. Well, let's see if we can schedule something. <laughs> we just played. We rode our bikes and we played. You had to be a damn mechanic to keep those things going. <laughs> You'd be pedaling and nothing would happen. Oh, shit, my chain came off. <laughs> You'd have to flip the bike over and get to work. Hold on! If an eight-year-old today loses a chain on his bike, that little bitch will be on his cell phone. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Yeah, Mom, I don't know what happened. No, I'm scared. I'm gonna need you to pick me up. No, I can see the house from here. No. Thank God I had my helmet on, thank God. Little bitch is wearing a helmet. There was one kid in my neighborhood who wore a helmet. Nobody liked his ass. He wasn't even, he wasn't even allowed to leave his driveway. We'd always ask him to play with us. Come play with us. I can't. I can't. My parents are from the future. I can't. Give a shit. Are you kidding me, people? I had a bike with one pedal. You think I gave a shit? I didn't give a fuck, I would keep up. I'd be right behind everybody. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. Some of you have pedaled the one pedal bike. It's not easy. You gotta keep this leg out of the way. You gotta kick it down, kick it back up. It's complicated. I had a big ass right thigh. I didn't give a shit. My dad would send me to the store. Get him. He'd send me to the store with a handwritten note and an ID. Some of you people had the same parents, and others are like, huh? Why do you need the ID? I don't know. Shit, my dad would let me keep the change, man, for shipping and handling. When I was growing up with a dollar fifty and change, are you kidding me? Shit, decisions had to be made. Give a kid today a dollar fifty, you'll tell you to go fuck yourself. Well, hey, kid, here's a dollar fifty, fuck you. I need your ATM card, motherfucker. <laughs> My name is Skyler. <laughs> Don't name your kid Skyler. Are you out of your mind? It's cute when he's four, but he's got to grow up. Does anybody here have a Grandpa Skyler? <laughs> they don't exist. What are you going to do this summer? I'm going to go to Grandpa Skyler's house. Wow, what are you gonna do over there? I don't know, shop, suck a dick, I don't know. <laughs> are you kidding me, man? My dad's name is Joe, Grandpa Joe. That's a man name. You go to Grandpa Joe's house, don't, you leave your kid with Grandpa Joe, you don't know what might happen. Three weeks later, your kid's changing your brakes. Like, what the hell are you doing? Your rotors are fucked. <laughs> How old are you, four? <laughs> now give me the seven eights and shut up. <laughs> Who taught you that, Grandpa Joe? <laughs> I used to love going to the store, man. With the dog, I'd get a 12 pack of Miller Lite, 12 pack of Miller Lite, I'd buy me a Nutty Buddy ice cream. You guys remember that shit? <laughs> ice cream so hard if you licked it, it'd roll off the cone. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>
We didn't give a shit. Gravel, dirt, we didn't care. We ate it. Have you seen a kid today drop a hard candy on the floor? Mom acts like it's CSI Miami. Don't touch it! And I'm just looking at him like, don't eat that, Skylar. I'll eat it. I don't give a shit. I'll go put some more hand sanitizer on your vagina, you little bitch. I used to deliver my beer, man. I'd put it on this leg, because this leg was stationary. <laughs> I'd put my elbow on it, I'd steer, and I'd eat, and I'd... <laughs> I didn't give a shit. Imagine if you saw that kid today. Imagine you're driving down the street, you see an eight-year-old with a one-pedal bike, a 12-pack of Miller Lite, and a nutty buddy. Everybody here have their cell phones out. Oh, look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on YouTube. That way his parents can go to prison, that's why. I didn't give a shit. I had a 100% delivery rate. Until one day, I ate shit. And I had to make a decision between the nutty buddy and the beard. My little fat ass picked the nutty buddy. <laughs> now I'm sitting in a puddle of beer crying, <laughs> eating my nutty buddy. <laughs> He's gonna kill me! <laughs> I'm fucking dead! <laughs> You're damn right I ate the nutty buddy. I can't read, but I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna get my ass whooped and not eat the nutty buddy. <laughs> my next door neighbor saw me, thank God. He came over and asked what happened. And I'm looking at him like, you can't figure out what happened. <laughs> I tried to tell him, but I couldn't, because when you're crying and you're little, you can't talk. He was so nice, man. He gave me a $10 bill, told me he wouldn't tell my dad. I went back to the store, I bought a 12-pack of beer and another nutty buddy. <laughs> and that started off as the worst day of my life and became the best day of my life. And that still holds true today. <laughs>